Aww, animals. Stray amputee cat fitted with prosthetic paws. A stray cat in Sofia, Bulgaria is getting a second chance at life in more ways than one. A groundbreaking surgery has suddenly changed his fate, as he's recently been fitted with prosthetics. Pooh the cat lost his hind legs in an accident last year as a kitten. It's believed he was run over by a car or a train. His difficult situation made him a good candidate for a prosthetic surgery method called ITAP, where the titanium implant pegs against the bone directly. The protruding titanium stems provide a secure attachment point for the cat's paws to snap in, which are made of Bulgarian polymer and rubber. For the procedure to be a complete success, Pooh's skin will eventually grow over the bone and stem tightly enough to prevent infections. Now 10 months old, Pooh the cat is running around fine on his new hind legs and has even been seen cleaning them. Another young amputee cat, Steven, has now also undergone the same procedure. These are Bulgaria's first successful feline prosthetic surgeries and the first in all of Europe outside England. In 2009, a cat named Oscar was fitted with prosthetic hind legs in a similar procedure, which cost roughly $62,000. Pooh's surgery cost roughly $1,600 and was paid for by donations from the animal shelter that cares for him. Now that he's got his legs back, all he needs is a new home. Robocat, anyone? Some animals are fighters. Here's a few more of them. Dog discarded at meat market gets second chance and prosthetic legs. At first glance, this two-year-old golden retriever mix, Chi-Chi, looks as happy a dog as you might ever see. But her good nature and lovable smile don't reveal a hint of the horrors she's endured over her short life. Young Chi-Chi was the victim of unimaginable cruelty from the time she was born, slated to become one of the reported 2.5 million dogs slaughtered annually in South Korea's underground dog meat trade, where there are no laws or regulations requiring the humane slaughter of dogs for meat. Every day, she was hung upside down, her legs bound by ropes and wires, and beaten by handlers, under the belief that a dog's meat is more tender when tortured. At some point, Chi-Chi's keepers realized that the bindings around her legs had cut through her flesh, causing parts of her body to become grossly infected. They came to the conclusion that her meat would likely be too rancid for human consumption, and disposed of her in a dumpster behind the meat market shortly afterward, still alive. Scared and alone, Chi-Chi was later found by a group of Good Samaritans who immediately contacted an animal rescue organization willing to help the dog in noticeable distress. The rescue team then gathered her up and rushed her to an emergency veterinary clinic. There, doctors diagnosed that her four legs had indeed rotted to the bone, the infection spreading to the rest of her body. If she was to have any chance at survival, Chi-Chi would have to undergo a quadruple amputation procedure, effectively cutting off the infection, but consequently leaving her with mere stubs for paws. Though the surgery was successful, it was anyone's guess as to how Chi-Chi might adapt, both physically and emotionally, after all the trauma she'd been through. But this resilient pup, whose name translated means loving, proved to be a fighter like the world has maybe never seen. ARM, the Los Angeles-based animal welfare group who saved Chi-Chi, reports that the day after her surgery, she was wagging her tail and already attempting to walk. A couple days later, remarkably, she was somehow managing to get around on her stumps. Demonstrating she could be a good candidate for prosthetics, Chi-Chi was fitted with four new legs and spent the following two months getting used to her new footing. It may not have been easy, but she sure made it look that way running around on her prosthetic paws, chasing balls with reckless abandon like any normal dog would. Through social media and news coverage, her inspiring story caught the attention of the world, in particular, a family in Arizona. The Howells, who have three dogs already, reached out to Arm to complete Chi-Chi's journey and offer her a loving home. When she was deemed ready, Chi-Chi was flown 6,000 miles from Seoul all the way to LA, where her rescuers and her new family picked her up and brought her to her new home in Phoenix this past week. The Howells say she still has a long road of rehab and recovery ahead of her, and it may not always be a walk in the park. But despite her physical limitations and psychological trauma, they say Chi-Chi appears boundless in her enthusiasm for life. It's hoped her story of being able to forgive 
and continue to smile in the face of adversity will act as a lesson to people everywhere about how to journey onwards and keep moving forward one step at a time. An injured green sea turtle can swim again after scientists came to its help with a prosthetic fin. A green sea turtle that had to have two flippers amputated after sustaining severe damage has regained the ability to swim with the help of a revolutionary prosthetic fin. Israeli scientists decided to help an injured green sea turtle after it was trapped by a fishing net in the Mediterranean Sea. The male turtle's left side flippers were so badly damaged that they were deemed beyond repair and had to be amputated. Scientists first designed a prosthetic fin similar to the dorsal fin of a fish. They found the new fin improved the turtle's swimming, but it was still finding it difficult to properly emerge at the water's surface. One scientist decided to create a prosthetic for the turtle based on the design of Lockheed Martin's F-22 Raptor warplane. Scientists formed two fins that kept the turtle relatively balanced, helping it to surface properly. However, the turtle will never be able to return to the wild. The turtle was dubbed Hofesh, which means freedom in Hebrew. He is being kept in a tank with a female green sea turtle named Surit, whom scientists hope he will mate with so their offspring may be released into the wild. In a world first, a dog has been fitted with four prosthetic legs, thanks to the kindness of one Colorado woman. In 2011, a puppy named Nakio was found abandoned and near death in a basement with his paws and tail frozen in a puddle. Taken to an animal shelter after losing his feet and tail to frostbite, this underdog's chances didn't look so great. Until little Nakio's plight gave veterinary assistant Christine Pace pause for thought. Christine raised money for two artificial legs for Nakio, giving him a new leash on life. The prosthetics company, Orthopets, was so moved by the pioneering pooch it made him another two for free. Christine's kindness has really given Nakio a leg up, earning him fans the world over.